back to my channel welcome back to a new video if you are new here welcome to my channel if you are not thank you for continuing to come back to watch also for anybody that's new that is not subscribed please like and subscribe and comment i like to talk to y'all so comment so we can connect it's like i have showed y'all in my previous videos what we do in clinic and you know just some of the things that I do do in clinic and all of that but I've never made a sit down video on exactly the whole appointment list and steps that we actually do go through so I decided to do that so when I am showing y'all what we're doing in clinic you'll kind of have more of an understanding of what we actually do for those of you who want to know more about clinic because y'all love that content so we do have these like posted throughout our entire clinic like at every operatory is a um one of these posts it's a little smaller than this this is like a printout that our program director gave us this is like the whole breakdown of clinic from start to finish this is like the checklist that we go through every day seeing patients we have to go through this entire checklist you can't skip steps you can't skip around you can't make your own order none of that you have to do one through 25 start to finish in order and you go through checkpoints so just stay tuned if you want to see the rest of the video and let's get right to it so let's start at number one it's clinic appointment and treatment sequence is what it's called so um so number one is Lee pays at the front desk <laughs> just like with anywhere the patient obviously has you have to pay first before you can be seen so um I would say the beginning of the day, obviously, first thing we do is have a pre-huddle. And um, we have pre-huddle, post-huddle. So pre-huddle is like the start of the day meeting where we all talk to our instructors, meet with our instructors, we let our know instructors what's going on with the patient. They ask us, you know, new patient, returning patient, or not. So we basically let them know what, just give them a rundown of what's going on with our patients, or we just let them know it's a new patient or returning just so the pre-huddle meeting starts at eight o'clock and post-huddle obviously stop starts at the end of the day after we've cleaned up everything so first and foremost we get we arrive at school we get there we set up our operatories put all our um barriers up plastics get our instruments out you basically get your whole entire operatory set up for your patient after that um, which is why you have to get to school earlier so you can have your operatory set up on time before your patient gets there. Um, we walk them back, we introduce, if you don't know your patient, you obviously have to introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Brittany, how are you? You know, do all, do all that small talk, get to know your patient, or it could be a family member or a friend that you already know, which you obviously do not have to get to know your friends and family. So, um, yeah, walk them back, walk them into the clinic. Um, we start out with having them brush their teeth so you have they have to brush and rinse before they sit down in the chair so while they're doing all of that I always go over the medical history form and all of that and on the, after I've gone over medical history checked them in um, dead vitals so that brings me to well now we're on number three so number three is um, obviously what I just said the pre rinse health history um, dental history and vital signs should be completed by step three so that means all the stuff that I just talked about should be done and you have an instructor to come over and check in my patient so you basically introduce your patient to your instructor and um, you kind of give them a rundown of what's going on with the patient at this point you should have all your medications and stuff typed in and let them know contraindications adverse effects um, what, what is the patient taking the medication for any of that stuff if your patient is on no medications it speeds up the process faster because you don't have to go research meds and all of that stuff you can just basically go on to the next step so but if you if your patient is on a lot of medications so like that you have to go over all of that with your instructor so now we're on step five which is e e o i o which is extra oral exam and intra oral exam the extra oral exam you are checking the outside of the patient's mouth as far as head and neck wise um intra oral exam you are checking on the inside of the patient's mouth to make sure they don't have any suspicious areas or any abnormalities inside the mouth that's going on that you might need to be aware of before you even get started with the cleaning six which is the instructor checkpoint so at this point they're going to come back and go behind your eoio and everything after number six we're on number seven 
Number seven is when you, so after your instructor clears you for your EOIO, um, we, you have to go up to the board and sign up on the doctor's board to come and prescribe you radiographs to take on your patient. So after you clear from that, you're gonna go up to the doctor's board, sign up for radiographs. So he's gonna come over, take a look inside your patient's mouth um, to see what radiographs that you need to be prescribed. Four bite wings and a panoramic, or it could just be the full mouth. If you, take a, if you have to take a full mouth, you won't have to take a pano. But if you take just four bite wings, you will have to take a panoramic as well. So after that, now we're on to step eight. Step eight is assessments, your assessment. So assessments um, is basically cal, cal detection, which is calculus detection, um, periodontal probing, and dental charting. After you have did all your assessments, your instructor comes over. Um, so they're gonna go through everything behind you. They're gonna go over dental charting to see if you got all the dental charting right. See if you got to put the restorations in the right areas and you even noted the correct restorations, like if you noted a MO correctly or a DO correctly or a, just a occlusal filling correctly. If you um, charted an amalgam filling correctly, even if you, and you knew the difference, you know, crowns, did they have crowns in certain areas? You gotta document those too. Like everything you see going on in the mouth has gotta be on the dental chart. So they're gonna go back behind you and make sure you got all that information correct. And then they're gonna go and check your peri your perio probing. Um, they're gonna make sure your numbers are pretty much. Um, with our instructors, they'll give you leeway. Like if they if you get one number off, like if you got a three in a certain area, and they got a two in a certain area, you're obviously not gonna get counted off for that. But if you got like um a three in a certain area and like it's a six millimeter pocket, then you'll get counted off for that because that's kind of a big difference. But they don't count off for like one or two numbers between their numbers if that makes so now we are on to step 10 which is the dmd exam or um dental exam where the dentist comes over he comes back over and um at this point he is now checking your patients he's um he's going through making sure everything is okay asking the talking to the patient asking the patient you know are you having any issues today anything that you want to check on um this is where he treatment plans stuff like he treatment plans his patient needs a crown or a composite filling on number tooth number whatever or you know just anything that he's treatment planning this is where he comes over and does all of that and he um, that we're on to number 11 where you disclose the patients with the plaque O'Leary's. so we have this red dye um that you put on each surface of the tooth of the patient's teeth you go around their whole mouth and put this dye solution on there and this, and this is gonna um step 12 is to go over hygiene instructions so ele step 11 and 12 really run together because after you disclose a solution you go over the instructions so like instructions and i usually give my patients their bag at that point like with all their stuff in it floss whatever toothbrush i think they need um mouthwash all that good stuff i put it in the bag and 13 at that point you get your instructor back over there because now 13 is discuss treatment plan with the instructor and the patient but um step 14 is um an instructor checkpoint at this point you're going to get them to sign all their consent forms like you know signing for the treatment plan and all that stuff so that's what you do at that point um 15 is when you actually start cleaning so um step 16 Step 16, y'all, this is long. Um, step 16 is to disclose the patients, which you don't really have to. Um, oh, keep in mind to always go back and pay attention to the areas that you jotted down for your calculus and make sure you remove all calculus to go, right? So, um, yes. Number 17, you start your polishing. Um, if you want your appointment to flow faster, I would typically have everything ready to go like if you know you're going to be polishing at this appointment go ahead and have the polisher ready go ahead and have whatever um fluoride you're going to use go ahead and have your floss ready go ahead and have whatever flavor um i ask my patients what flavor they want for their um polish um after you polish step 18 is to floss the patient so after you get done polishing you go through and polish every tooth and after you get done with that, you go back and you floss between every contact area. You flossing every one. After you get done flossing, you 
then get your instructor. They go through and they check one last check over everything, make sure everything is good. At this point, we're on step number 19, which is instructor checkpoint. So after they come back and check you from polishing and flossing and all that and making sure everything is okay and good to go, then you can apply fluoride treatment. Now some patients do not want fluoride, so you don't have to necessarily do this step. But if your patient is okay with having fluoride, you definitely um get them the fluoride. I like to number 21 is the final checkpoint. So after you've done fluoride treatment, you go back and sign the board. You get your instructor to come back over and do a final check over everything. They say, okay, good, you're done. Everything looks great. So at that point, you're done. You um, check your patient out. You get them back to the... So sad that my camera is overheating. Hopefully I can get through this without it messing up. But um, so after fluoride treatment, you're on step 21. Step 21 is your instructor. They dismiss them. Um, after you cannot walk your patient back out to the front without your instructor coming over to dismiss them if they haven't came back if nobody's came back and looked inside your patient's mouth to make sure everything is still good you're going to get points taken off for that you get a lot of points taken off for that so um you have to make sure that your instructor has came and dismissed your patient after that you have to walk them back up to the front you cannot let a patient just walk back up to the front by themselves you have to physically walk them up there yourself dismiss them bye thank you for coming hope you have a good rest of the day so make sure that um your patient completes your student survey and turn it in otherwise you won't get credit for that patient if the patient did not complete the student survey um this is goes along with walking the patient out to the front is giving them the survey to make sure they complete it and then step 23 is your soap notes so that's after you basically. get done with the soap notes um you sign the board and your instructor comes over and looks at your note checks over everything and makes sure all your notes are correct and in order and then they sign off for that patient if you completed them or they'll sign off for your returning appointment and make sure all that's good then after that you can start cleaning up your operatory so after everybody's ops are cleaned up trash is taken out clinic is back cleaned up and in order like it was when we started we then have our post huddle where we meet again, talk about everything that happened that day, anything the instructors want to go over with us again. We talk about that, um, the good, the bad, the ugly, in between, everything that happened. That's what we talk about at that post huddle. And then after that, it's time to go home. Yay! That's the fun part. Well, I mean, obviously everything else is fun too, but you know, everybody's pretty much ready to go home at five. So. So that is the whole entire clinic checklist from step one to step 25 which is why it takes appointments so long people don't understand like well why does it take so long because we have to go through the entirety of this list appointments take so long because we are really thorough it's a school we have to check everything all right guys well we have made it to the end of this video and I would like to say thank you guys for watching I hope y'all enjoyed this video I hope y'all got some good information um yeah I guess I'll just end it right here don't forget to like comment and subscribe to be a part of this family I am still trying to grow my channel obviously so tell a friend to tell a friend um I hope my dental hygiene girlies love this video I will see y'all in the next one. So until next time, y'all go out and be great.